Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome back friends. Welcome back to another video lecture by Kami Microbiologist. Today in this video lecture we are going to talk about uh, another culture media that is called Salmonella Shigella agar or SS agar. Now what is Salmonella Shigella agar? Again this is a selective or we can say differential medium. Okay. And this medium is actually obtained by a media which we call a deoxycholate citrate agar medium. Because in this media, in this deoxycholate citrate agar, the ingredient is also available for Salmonella shigella. Now, this media is specially recommended for the isolation of shigella species. But we can also use this media for the isolation of uh, salmonella species as well now let's talk the uses of this media this media is actually used for the isolation of salmonella and some strain of the shigella species from clinical as well as non-clinical sample we can also isolate different types of the gram negative bacteria means uh, e coli pseudomonas uh, klebsiella enterobacter on uh, through through this media uh, on the basis of lactose and non lactose fermented okay from uh, suspected food uh, and other sp sp uh, special sample now what type of ingredient are mentioned in this media this media contain beef extract 5 gram for 1 liter enzymatic digest of casein and animal tissue 5 gram for 1 liter peric citrate 1 gram for 1 liter uh, agar for 10 or 15 gram mostly we use 15 gram distal water 1 liter bile salt citrate and thiosulfate which is needed 25.5 uh, gram brilliant green which are needed 0 0.01 gram lactose needed 10 gram neutral red needed 0 0.02 gram now let's talk that what are the main function or what are the main uh, you know action of this ingredient present on the media first of all let's talk the bile salt sodium citrate brilliant green now the presence of this uh, ingredient can inhibit the growth of gram positive bacteria and coliform organism moreover the proteus bacteria due to the presence of this ingredient may also be inhibited and salmonella bacteria can easily be grow now the presence of beef, uh, beef extract uh, enzymatic digest of casein animal tissue these uh, ingredient will actually provide the nitrogen carbon vitamin which are specially need for bacterial growth then we have lactose which act as a carbohydrate and when it is fermented so then the colony color will be changed which is actually detected by phenol red indicator then we have you know uh, remember guys what actually we have we have a phenol red indicator so whenever the lactose is fermented so what happened the neutral red indicator will be dropped and we get red pink colonies which can showing the lactose fermented property and non lactose uh, fermented property means that we have colorless colony then we have sodium thiosulfate and ferric citrate that can usually you know permit the hydrogen sulfide by the production of black colonies with uh, you know uh, usually we have colonies with black centers so these are the ingredients and their main action then how we can prepare this media now first of all we take uh, 60 gram of the powder and we will dissolve it into one liter of the distilled water then we will mix it after that we will heat the media uh, and then boil it for one liter after that uh, you know we will pour it on into sterilized petri plate and wait for the solidification after solidification then we will streak our bacteria and incubate it at 37 degrees celsius for 24 hour and after that we will examine the colony morphology remember guys in this case the media will not be autoclave as we talked in different case the media is autoclaved but 
XLT4, XLD media and Sermula Shigele media will not be able to claim because in this case the ingredient will be disturbed. That's why these types of the media will not be able to claim. Either this type of media just we will boil it and then uh, we use it. Then we have different types of the bacteria which are grow on this media. As we talk that this media is specially used for the Shigella as well as Salmonella. So that's why we can say it is a selective media. But it is also non-selective media because in this case we can also find the lactose fermented and non-lactose fermented bacteria. E. coli is the lactose fermented bacteria which can produce small pink to red colony. Pseudomonas is non-lactose fermented bacteria which can produce irregular colorless slight growth. Then we have Klebsiella and Enterobacter that are what? That are also the lactose fermented bacteria that have mucoid pale opaque creamy pink colony which are a little bit larger than E. coli colony. Then we have Shigella which are again the clear colorless transparent colony. So we can say that it is also non-lactose fermented bacteria. Then we have Salmonella which is also the non-lactose fermented bacteria but when it grows so then it produces H2S due to which the color of the salmonella will be blackish okay then we have proteus mostly the proteus cannot grow because in this case bile salt are present so if the bile salt are removed so still it can grow and it have also colorless with black center means it is also non lactose fermented bacteria now these are the bacterial colonies as you can see so this first one representing the salmonella bacteria which is the blackish colony means the uh, hydrogen sulfide in this case are also produced so, and it is actually non lactose fermented bacteria these are the colony of pseudomonas originis, so you can see colorless colony pinkish colony you can see in this case means it is lactose fermented uh, moreover we have this one is the proteus bacteria as you can see irregular and colorless colony this blackish can represent a salmonella which is uh, representing that it can produce the h2s case again this is the E. coli pink colony and shigella irregular colonies uh, colorless colonies then we have uh, Klebsiella pneumonia which is the mucoid colony and lactose fermented and in this case they have also mucoid colony but the difference is a little bit that in this case you can see that the colony is a little bit smaller as compared to Klebsiella. So that's all about the Salmonella Shigella agar. I hope you guys get idea about that. Thanks for watching.